So I finished my Destro, my Iron Grenader Destro, from his box of money with his necklace and logo glasses, even though you know, Iron Grenader Destro didn't have them. But I thought I'd add them anyways. A little gold on the boots and the pads. And most of it, I just did a wash on. Just to give it a hint of a different look for him. And I really like how the gun looks. And his holstered gun looks like similar. Well, the gold and the black. It's really just slide on, on the pads. They look worn like underneath. And he's got his sword. And then I went big time on the helmet actually. I mean on the mask. You can see it really good. But I just wanted to do a light. Like I didn't even want to cover up the the gray and the brown. I wanted it to look like this is his battle uniform almost. Though I think I missed another bit of gray right there. Right. Yeah. I did. Right there at the belt. There's gray that comes up from the belt. I never noticed that before. <laughs> but I missed that. I might add a little bit of gold there. I never even noticed that in any reviews or anything that that, that uh, gold did right there. I think overall it looks pretty good. I mean, when you go back, you have him standing there with his cape and everything. I, I think that looks pretty cool. And yeah, there's more, like more there. Every time I film or take a picture of this thing, I find more that that gray padding. I need to add a little bit of go to. But the cape, I it, I didn't do that right over the shoulder thing because like it would have kept me from posing him a lot more. But I just did this one towards the back and then I put some chain to cover up the glue because I'm I'm really new in all this. <laughs> so yeah, I still got more to do. Like I I, I never understood, never saw like when I was first looking at this figure how much of that padding's really there. The head turned out really good. Overall, I'm really satisfied with it. And like the boots, I put more on the tips. But I like the wash on it. And there's the back of the bag. I added some gold to it. So this costume would be like, like kind of in between. <laughs> Maybe in between Pimp Destro and just Greg Rigger Destro. You got this one. So. But I thought people would like to see, like, how it's turned out. Because this is my first time really, really trying to paint a figure and do any kind of custom work on him or anything. And, so, cool. Yay! Turned out okay. Uh, my next G.I. Joe related figure thing is I'm working on building me, like, a Cobra throne room. So, that should be pretty cool. I got a lot of early work I've started on that. This is my early work starting on the Cobra Throne one. I gotta do the throne first and then after that I'll be able to do more. So Destro is my only Cobra officer right now. I'm going to do some customs and put some other figures up there I think would, think would fit. They're not necessarily G.I. Joe figures but would fit with Cobra and G.I. Joe. I mean with my G.I. Joes right now I got Sergeant Slaughter there, which I got some decals coming, and I know in the in the GI Joe movie he didn't have it on him, but I'm probably gonna put the GI Joe logo logo on his stomach, so I think it'll be pretty cool. I still got a I got another Destro from my regular Destros, and then I got Storm, uh, not Storm Shadow, Snake Eyes, Scarlet Duke uh, to do reviews so we put up and stuff. I don't think I'm gonna do any customizing on any of those, but overall. I, I like the G.I. Joe collection. If anybody looks for Sergeant Slaughter, go for his basic. I got a head I ordered online for another Slaughter that I might do some stuff to. Uh, I actually ordered it, admitting that I made a mistake and ordered it before I realized. Because I was like, oh, I'm going to make me a Sergeant Slaughter. Dumbass, you have a Sergeant Slaughter. Actually, I got two Sergeant Slaughters because I also got a bad guy. But he was like, chic Sergeant Slaughter. So, <laughs> okay.
Universe has been granted an exclusive world debut of the trailer for Lesser of Two Weevils Productions podcast, Shattered. We are very happy here to get this exclusive trailer because we have dealt with and discussed uh, audio and audio recordings and audio storytelling very much with a lot of the people behind this project and we really think everybody will enjoy it. And so we're really happy to uh, help get the word out. Uh, for more information, go to theshatteredpodcast.com for a lot more information on this. I will be providing links right after this trailer, so enjoy the trailer, and I hope everybody goes and supports this very, very cool project. Everyone loves a mystery. In the early 1900s, the great and good of Belle Epoque Paris buried an urn full of living voices gramophone recordings of famous singers, to be disinterred after a century. Who made these recordings and why? This podcast will investigate the mysterious happenings in turn of the 20th century Paris. I'm Bill Donnan, and with my colleague... We're going to use research, sound recording playback technology, and good old-fashioned detective work to try to find you the answers. Welcome to the Shattered Podcast. 